All right, so I want to show you a couple of different ways to put backgrounds behind your design. First thing you want to think about is don't wait to think about your backgrounds until you get the composition finished. One of the things that's nice about Procreate is uh, once you have your image designed, you can move it around wherever you want on the canvas. But I kind of start to think about what my background should look like as soon as I start getting a sense of how many costume plates they're going to be in, if I'm going to want them in the center of the page or on the side. So here's the easiest to do, and easy does not mean, not mean um, bad. There are really two schools of thought about the background behind a costume image. One that it should be very simple and not take away from the design itself. And the other is that it can be whatever it needs to be as long as it doesn't overpower whatever is in front of it. And sometimes what I like to do is once I have a sense of what the set is going to look like, let's say uh, a particular color, then I will try to put my costumes on a background that kind of match the color or the sense of architecture that's going to be there. So here's the simplest way to do it. Go to your background layer. Sorry, I'm going to activate it here. I'm going to activate my background layer. Right? Okay. And now what I can do is I can choose any color I want my background layer to be. And so I'm going to choose kind of a paper, kind of a one. And then when I hit done, and now if I open that up, now I've got my figure on a background. I think that a background should have a little bit of depth to it. And so what I want to do is I want to put a little depth behind the figure, and I also want to ground the figure so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. And the easiest way to do that and perfectly acceptable is add yourself another layer, then choose a brush, go down to water, and choose any of these brushes, but I'm going to start with the wash. And then I'm going to go over here and choose a color that I want to go on top of this brown. And so I think I'm going to slide this over here till I get um, kind of a brown color. I'm going to go down here to the darker tone. Then I'm going to hit my brush. And I want to be sure I'm working on this new layer, which needs to go on the costumed figure. And now, watch this. And so now I've just put a little, a little bit of shadow behind that figure using my brush. And I can change, again, the, I can change the size, I can change the opacity. And you see how now that figure is not just hanging in space, right? Um, I can do the same thing with a different brush. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to water and I'm going to take one of these I'm going to use this wet glaze because it's a slightly different brush and I can do the same thing and you'll notice I get a slightly different treatment on the color I put behind it. Let me get out of that. I'm going to go up here to textures and I'm going to choose this, I like this one, Rectango. I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops, I'm going to make it smaller. see it just gives me a little something a little little depth behind them behind the figure if I wanted to put another layer in I could go up here to let's go to my um, elements I'm going to pick this driven snow I've used that before and I'm going to make this color just a little bit darker and on a different layer I'm going to add another layer so I have separate layers building up my background I'm going to take that and watch this right? If I wanted to, I could continue to fill in that whole layer. I don't like that as much, right? So that's the easiest way to build a background. Um, using the brushes and the colors that are built in, then I'm going to, for every layer of my background, I'm going to do that on a different layer so I can change it if I want. 
and then I would go ahead and add my text as the next layer. So that's a really easy way to put a background on your composition um, that is going to give it some depth and also keep the focus on the costume.